Bless Master. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King. Himself our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before our King. Let us bow down
peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Metropolitan Tikhon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. country, for its president, for all those in civil authority, and for those in the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
have mercy on us and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
but his Lord who could stand, but there is forgiveness with Oh. 
let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, as Jesus was going along the road, a man said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another, Jesus said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Leave the dead to bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to
Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Tikhon and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. <laughs> mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our diocese of New England a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care of the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith and loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. country, for its president, for all those in civil authority, for those in the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this Holy Church, <clears throat> and for all our fathers and kinfolk to part this life before us, including Irina, Alexander, Proto Presbyter Alexander, Sadiq and Dana, Kiro, Siddiq and Paul, Archbishop Nikon, Natalia, Child Leo, who here in all the world lies asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who have lost their lives because of the war in Ukraine, that the Lord our God may look upon them with mercy and give them rest where there is neither sickness or sorrow but life everlasting. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, for the members of this community, and for priests Mark, Andrew, Ambrose, Mercha, and their families, for deacons Gregory, Alexis, and their families, for the catechumens Travis, Stephen, and Chloe, for the Abedis, Brashes, Browns, Cars, Chan, Shampoo, Chevaliers, Craigs, Donovans, Demoulins, Dyers, Eastmans, Elliots, Feenies, Gibsons, Griffins, Gruenbaums, Howdy Shells, Canes and Weisses, Coggets, Marshalls, Marinellises, Nesters, Petros, Sheehans, Solzhenitsyns, Pineases, Ukrans, Lassiters, Donovans, and Woolerts. For Dan, Christopher, Sam, Stephen, Zoe, Peter, Victoria. For Reader, Nick, and Martha, and the child to be born of her. John and Laura and the child to be born of her, Andrew and Sherry and the child to be born of her, Father Nico and Presbyteria Ivy and the child to be born of her, Ben and Allie and the child to be born of her, Michael and Corey and their son Jackson Dean, Timothy and Olivia and their daughter Vera, for those who are traveling, including the cars, Esther and Mark, and those who are sick and in distress, including Lucy, Anastasios, Machka Cindy, Machka Galina, Rachel, Debbie, Mark, Diane, Rita Mark, Anne, Anatoly, Lilia, Joyce, Rebecca, Irene, Patricia and Brenda, Thomas, Julie, Cheryl and Linda, Maria, Andre, John, Ksenia, Mike, Michelle and John, Linda, Stefan, Jenny, Laura, Deborah, Irish, Chad Leo, Laura, Kevin, Dora, George, Sheehan's, and all those who are suffering, wounded, grieving, or displaced because of the war in Ukraine, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for cessation of the hostilities against Ukraine, and that reconciliation and peace will flourish there. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the victims of misinformation, violence, and terror perpetrated by the Russian regime. Help them in us to discern the spirit, to turn away from the evil one, and to do good, seek peace, and pursue it. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do 
good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who labor and for those who sing, and for all the people here present with us who are at thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Long safe, O oh Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O oh Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O oh Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O oh Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, let me understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of thy hands. To these due praise, to these due a song, to these due glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant O Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. of our life in, in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, <coughs> and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant it, o Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God.
Alexander, Alexis, Herman, Innocent, Jacob, John, Juvenali, Nikolai, Peter, Raphael, Tikon, of a righteous father, Gregory of Nicopolis, a father among the saints, Proclus, Archbishop of Constantinople, disciple of the blessed John Chrysostom and successor to his throne, the holy martyr Gaseus of Dorostolum, the holy martyrs Nerissus the bishop, Joseph his disciple, and those martyred with them in Persia, Isaacius, John, and Sapor, Gaitazet, and another three, and the virgin Thecla, Baotha, and Danachus, the holy martyrs and brethren, Eustathius the deacon, Despotheus, and Anatolius of Gangra, Saint Theoptistus the patrician, the holy royal martyr Edmund, king of East Anglia, and of our righteous father Sozomen of Cyprus, a wonder worker whose memory we keep this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Without faith in the true God, an 18-year-old may learn of the tragic death of a 40-year-old and think to himself, well, that's too bad, but at least he lived to a ripe old age. And then when he himself is 40, he may learn of the death of someone who is 60 and think to himself, well, that's too bad, but at least he lived a long time and so on until he finally comes to the realization that avoidance, avoidance of coming to terms with death is an illusory comfort. And who can blame him without faith? The words and the images of what the world teaches about death are they're very powerful without faith. For example, uh, the war that continues against Ukraine. Less than a month after that invasion began, there were images spread all over the world, almost all over the world, uh, of death, destruction, tragedy. The Perianus family, I'm not pronouncing it, I'm sure, correctly, but this uh, dear little family, a mother and her two children, a son and a daughter, are trying to flee with their winter coats on and carrying luggage and suddenly an explosion and then when the dust clears and the smoke is blown away, there they are, dead, the mother in the street, the daughter laying against the curb and the sun half on the curb and half on the sidewalk with their luggage there. Or in the same time frame, the bombing of a maternity ward and the image spread by Associated Press of the, the woman great with child whose name was not known but who was carried out on a stretcher holding a bleeding wound and, and shouting, kill me now, because she knew her baby was being lost. She herself also died. And when we see these images and hear the words, it provokes a person without faith in the true God to hate enemies, to not pray for enemies, but to search out for revenge and justice on our own terms, to find out who did this and end it. And in the process, we are lured away by this bright, shiny lure like a trout goes after. Something they think is food, something that will help them. But the true God provides us words and images that are completely different. They are the messages and the images 
of truth. We remember on Great and Holy Thursday the words, He who suspended the earth upon the waters is now hung upon the cross. And the image, the icon of Christ on the cross. And we realize that God himself has desired to enter into the tragedy of man's death, the tragedy of man's sin, and the tragedy of man's injustice. And for Christ, as a man, it is lethal for him too. But he comes to, to tell us the truth. He himself is the truth. In the great entrance of the divine liturgy, after the priest has done the commemorations, he comes back into the altar and begins this prayer. The noble Joseph, when he had taken down thy most pure body from the tree, wrapped it in fine linen, anointed it with spices, and placed it in a new tomb. With faith in the true God, we can come to terms with death. Just as we have done as a parish, as a deanery, downstairs, thanks to the, the leadership, the initiative of Irini, of Moira, of Debbie Krejcik, many others, uh, we learn how to do such a thing, to uh, anoint the, the departed's body, to wash and to honor and to clothe the body, to do things for the departed without fear, but with honor and with love and devotion. This is a gift to us. When we turn and we think, oh, let me go do this other thing. Let me go look back uh, from the plow and consider, no, 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 Christ says, no, don't look back. Look forward. Go and proclaim this truth, the kingdom of God, which has come near. That same prayer that the priest prays continues after he finishes the words and placed it in a new tomb. He prays, in the tomb with the body, in Hades with the soul as God, in paradise with the thief, and on the throne with the Father in the Spirit and the Spirit, was thou, O boundless Christ, filling all things, bearing life, and more fruitful than paradise, brighter than any royal chamber, thy tomb, O Christ, is the fountain of our resurrection. So we come to understand <coughs> our true God not only comes and enters into our dilemma, our tragedy, and suffers and dies, but comes to give us his resurrection, his life for us, for our life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages.